sure that all of you have a very clear idea of you know how to go about selecting a good implant and I'm sure the implants that you use in clinical practice are more or less proved in the their uh, you know they've been tried and tested in uh, clinical practice and then you've been using quite a few of them but then this is a very familiar scenario don't you think so that even when we have implants which have integrated very well and we'll, when we take follow-up radiograph this is what we see most textbooks or most uh, you know journals would say that this is a normal phenomenon they say in the first one year of implant placement it's okay to have one to two millimeters of bone loss and then over a period of time 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters of bone loss is subsequent year and then we've accepted that as a norm why has this been happening you know in all the best implants that we've been using we still say that you know it is okay to have that uh, that crater that little bit of bone loss in uh, around the implant and then you also have situations where you have screw loosening, the abutment is becoming loose, fracture of the screws, okay, fractures of the, you know, the crystal portion of the implant and all this. Why should we have a closer look at the mechanics of implant abutment uh, interface? Basically, it's because of flat to flat surfaces. The implant abutment connections, you know, they have a flat to flat surface. There is a built in tolerance built into the system so that the components seat uh, properly. So when you have a flat to flat interface, there is uh, you know uh, a little bit of elastic deformation when there are chewing forces and this elastic deformation leads to micro movements some wonderful studies by Zipperick uh, I have uh, you know interacted uh, with this person in Germany if you look at this can you just look at this that is what elastic forces can do can you see the whole implant moving the abutment connection moving look at that carefully This is a very nice uh, presentation. Look at this. Look at what is happening. These are some of the leading implants in the uh, in the world. Look at that. Look at this. This is a more safer connection. This is not our implant, but then it is still has a very good implant connection. So there is no micro movement. Look at this. Look at what happens here. Look at this, the implant abutment in interface. Elastic deformation, now we have eliminated all these. So we are coming closer to the perfect implant where you don't have to accept bone loss as a norm anymore. In fact, some of our implants are known to form bone over a period of years between the, you know, on the surface of the uh, implant because it's a subcrestal implant. And then if you take radiographs in the first year post-op, second, third year post-op, you'll actually see bone forming on top of the implant between the abutment and the implant connection. Very quickly, I'm done with my presentation as I promised. So please look at our products. And uh, we've actually concentrated on only people who are doing a little bit of implants who are already into this field of implants so that you can appreciate our uh, USP, that is the basic, the connection that we have. It is one of the best connections in the country. And uh, you know, if you use these implants, you'll realize that you know basically we are not trying to sell you an implant we are selling you peace of mind you know your patient is not going to come back every four or five years with loosening screws bone loss and all that so basically you're not just buying an implant you're buying peace of mind
I was just fortunate today, I went through the details of K3 Pro. Absolute amazing combination of all concepts in implant design and technology. Especially the Mosa Taper connections, which, which is something which I love as a prosthodontist from last 25, 26 years of my implant practice. I just loved it. And the surgical options and prosthodontic options they have is amazingly good. I wish they do well in this country of mine and uh, helping our patients is our dictum. I hope they come forward with more scientific stuff like this so that we can help our patients much more. So as far as uh, size and design and prosthetic options are considered, after going through the details, I just loved it. Love to see much more from K3 Pro. Thank you. And it was a very nice evening to be present in the August gathering of uh, such an experienced doctors. And today we learned uh, insight about the argon system and a uh, lot of prosthetic options and uh, surgical options we have, even the digital options. We are keen on doing the digital uh, implant placements. So we'll go forward with that options and uh, it seems to be a very good system with all the added advantages and we would like to explore it more thank you uh, i was here for an event for argon dental implants it's in german product and we know about german engineering german technology german precision so i'm looking forward for this german implant which is having a different connection and uh, there are very few implant companies in the world which has this great more stepper, true more stepper connection and bacterial seal. So looking forward to it. Thank you. And this is Dr. Venkatesh from Bangalore, periodontist, practicing since 11 years. And uh, today we got to know a uh, new implant in the market uh, with a newer technology and uh, challenge with the uh, reaching all the challenges in the uh, implant placement and it's going to rock the market. Hi, I'm Dr. Chandrasekhar and uh, I'll talk a little bit about our USP that is uh, the implant abutment connection of the K3 Pro implant. It's one of the most you know stable implant connections available in all the implant systems in India. It's very unique because it virtually eliminates all the causes for um, abutment loosening bone loss and all the problems associated with uh, implants in our modern day practice. The connection is unique because it cold welds or it literally welds to the implant and the whole implant and the abutment becomes one. It is like a single piece implant. So there is virtually no movement of the abutment in the implant. So there is no uh, micro movement of the abutment. There is no micro pump which pumps in the bacteria in and out of the lumen of the implant virtually eliminating all the problems you know causing bone loss around the implant when i actually sell this implant to people i tell them i'm not selling an implant to them i'm actually selling them peace of mind because their patient is not going to come back in the next few months with crown loosening abutment loosening bone loss and all the other common problems associated with implants so basically you're not buying an implant you're buying peace of mind thank you dentist channel dot online